We live and direct with good old Baltimore Ben, you feel me? I'm finna make some sweet and sour, y'all, so I'm gonna let y'all see what this do. Let me go grab this hot pot so I can go put this little little water on this rice real quick. That's how you come in, just some right rice with the water real quick. Hold on. Ben. Man, y'all know what time it is, oh yeah. Y'all know what time it is, oh yeah, man. Wiggle him up. Put the. I'm talking about on him. Yeah. Same thing over here. You feel me? Get him going. Some good hot. Yeah. See, this is an exclusive meal, though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gonna y'all gonna learn something today. Y'all gonna learn something today. But it's good old exclusive. You know, talk about sweet and sour. Y'all gonna learn something today. That's what we working with. That's what we working with right here. We working with the meatball and the pickle off the dribble. You know what I'm saying? So, bam, I already broke everything down. I ain't want to get too crazy. And the pickle. So, the pickle going to get cooked first. Like I told y'all, when I cook, I always go veggies first. Let me see. Hold on. Let me put some light over here so that y'all can get a real full pool of this thing. You know? Yeah, man. Get y'all a real full pool, man. So, yeah, here we go. Bam. Pickles, man. Pickles, man. All right, you drop some of this oil on there. And I'm running low, man. I'm running low on this oil right now. You see how it just dripped out? Y'all can tell I'm, dang, I'm out. That's why you get the, that's why you get the mayonnaise at the stove. Because you already know you're going to be out. Okay, see? I had just turned him on, so he ain't really just get sizzling like he would if I'd have been had him on, but... Yeah, you know, you throw them pickles on there for a little moment first. Let them do what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Before you even get to throwing that meat on there. I should have been had to grill on so that, you know, the process was a little quicker. Yeah, so I, I did everything the way I did it for a reason, though. Because if I wouldn't have did it like that, it would have been, a, it would have took a hundred years to so get everything going, so... Yeah, and that's not this. That's not how we rock. We don't. We ain't. We ain't taking all day to do a little bit of something. Man, we just pulling up. We doing what we can off the dribble. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. So what else we gonna use for the sweet and sour? We gonna use these good old hot spicy pork rinds. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. oh, good old hot spicy pork rind things. Y'all see? We rocking with them. We're rocking with these. You see? Hot chips, flame hot. And look, I got a secret sauce that I done made. Secret sauce, you know, y'all don't really get to even know what's in that. It's a secret. It's a secret sauce, but I'll tell y'all what's in it though anyway. It's jellies, mustard, some sweet and sour sauce, and then, uh, you know, a Kool Aid pack. And due to the fact, that the only Kool-Aid packs they selling that, you know, go the right direction is that good, uh, the blue one. I'm using the blue one, man. We ain't coming Hawaiian Punch Red. But that's really like, you know, when I first started doing the uh, Sweet and Sour, I was coming Hawaiian Punch Red consistently, though. So, yeah, we're going we to um, throw a little bit of, uh, a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic powder on this real quick. Not nothing crazy. Just a little bit. Yeah, so a little bit, tiny bit. And then, like I said, some pepper and some garlic powder. That's all you need. You ain't got to really do nothing else to it. And remind you, the secret sauce got some seasoning in it too, though. That's why you only only come with a little bit. You see, that's, that's some light on there. And then the garlic powder can wait until you put the meat on there. So the salt and the pepper really the only thing you got to do right now. The garlic pepper can wait till the meat get on there. But you just don't want to, you just don't want to, uh, because the meat cooks pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes the pickles won't be all the way prepared if you go straight to cooking the meat with the pickles. So you want to, you want to, you know, get the pickles a little, a little started first. Get some good little wake up to them. Put some tenderness on them boys. And then, 
And then that's where you're gonna throw the meat on there. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm doing this, letting that do what it's doing, I'm about to mess with this here secret sauce for a minute. Cause uh the secret sauce, if you're gonna see it, it's that good old good old green thing. Secret sauce, man, look at that. Y'all seeing that man? <laughs> look at that secret sauce. And the only thing I ain't put inside the secret sauce yet that I need to put is some soy sauce. So I'm about to do that. I'm about to do that right now in a moment. Get my whip game on. You know, when you've been whipping all your life, man, it ain't nothing, it ain't nothing to whip, man. You know what I'm saying? When you've been whipping all your life, I've been just whipping and whipping. But you know, I got stupid. Look at that. Look at that whip game I got. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he got a whip, don't he? He got a whip a Yeah, he's doing his thing. He got a whip. Yeah, so, throw that good old soy sauce on there. Hold on a second. Throw that good old soy sauce on there. Just a little something. You really don't need too much, but just a little something, you know, like that. You know, I'm going to put some soy sauce on top at the end, too, and I'm probably going to put some soy sauce with this garlic powder when I, uh, when I put the meat in there, you know what I'm saying? But see, this is where you just get whipping. That's the secret sauce, though. That's the secret sauce for the sweet and sour. And everybody be like, well, how the sauce get so red? Because them hot Cheetos be bleeding. The hot Cheetos be bleeding. So when you put the sauce on the grill with the with the hot Cheetos, and you get to mix and mix and mix them, them hot Cheetos be bleeding. Sauce go from green to red. How the sauce get so green, you might ask. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, the blue plus other stuff just makes green, I guess. I don't know. I told you I was using the blue thing. But trust me when I tell you this is fired up. Tastes great. Look, so the meat, it's ready for the meat. It's ready for the meat right now. This right here. Yeah, it's been doing this little sizzling thing. It's ready for the meat. And so, yeah, this ain't no big old meal. Personal for me and bro. One meat log, one pickle. Um... Hot dill pickle, by the way. One meat log, one pickle. And then, uh, like I said, it's personal. We use, basically, it's just one bag of rice. Maybe a little more than one bag, but basically one bag of rice. I already had one open that we've been using for other things, so I had to open another one. But it had already been used, so basically just one bag of rice. And uh, just a quick little meal. Y'all gonna see how many chips I throw in there. I'm, a, I'm just eyeballing when it comes to them chips. I'm just eyeballing, though. Really ain't doing too much hard thinking or anything like that when it comes to chips. You just throwing on there what it feel right to throw on there for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you just throwing on there what it feel right to throw on there. But uh, look, the secret sauce we're gonna use it anyway. So it ain't no reason why I shouldn't just put the spoon right there. Plus, you know, I like to cover everything as it's doing what it's doing. So yeah, here we go. And like I said, when I, uh, when I put that meat on there, I'm going to throw some garlic powder. Bam. You know what I'm saying? Garlic powder don't got no salt in it. So it's like you really ain't got to just be careful with it because salt is the thing that you over season with. Because I had a comment the other day that said, man, when things get over seasoned, you got to rinse it off. He's like, man, I worked at a restaurant for this many years and nobody could afford to just uh, waste some food because it's over seasoned. You just got to rinse the food off. And you know what? I ain't know that, bro. I appreciate you for that game. Because now that I know that, I'm about to be rinsing. If I mess up, I'm rinsing something off. On everything I love. I never I never knew that that was even an option. You just rinse it off. Like, but now that I know that, you know, I'm about to utilize that game for the rest of forever. But see, look, see, and look, it's already coming together. It's already coming together. I'm trying to tell you, this is a quick meal. It's a real quick meal. But yeah, yesterday I dropped the, uh, the video about standing on your word. I want y'all to understand that standing on your word is a big deal. But, you know, don't say some negative, some negative things. Like, cause you, cause you can be like, man, you can say some real crazy negative stuff. And if you stand on your word in that manner, and I mean, okay, yeah, people gonna know when you say crazy stuff that you about it. But don't, don't think that that's good, though. Just cause you be saying, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna knock him out as soon as you see him knock him out. Like, it is what it is. You're still on business, but... Sometimes you gotta realize, man, the things you say, 
you gotta watch your tongue. I mean, I, I, I look. I done said some negative things, stood on it. It is what it is. People respect it, especially in this environment. But we got to change the things we let come out of our mouth. We get to just saying anything, and we get to saying anything, and we such a man of our word that we don't even care about the consequences. But I already said that, bro. I already said that. So now I'm acting. You know what I'm saying? I already, I already said I was going to do it. So it's like, whatever. But you got to understand, it's, it's a lot that come with that. It's a lot that come with that attitude. It's a lot of losses. And it's a lot of people out there that love us, our family members that miss us, and they don't want us to be up in here, and they don't want us to be catching more time, and they don't want you to be out there catching some time, and they don't, they don't want to lose you. You gotta understand, man, doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing, participating in the wrong things can lead to your death, early age. I'm trying to be somewhere, and I always, it's crazy, because now that I'm saying this, I've always been like, bro, I won't even, I can't visualize me being older than 50. And to be honest, today I can't, but I'm about to start I haven't been able to, but I'm about to start visualizing me as an old man because I'm trying to die somewhere in the tropics with uh, a bad little Jimmy model and billion dollars in the bank or something and all type of stuff going on and fam family, any kids everywhere that I've been right taking, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'm trying to die. I ain't trying to die a young man. To some violence, you know what I'm saying? I want to die because I'm old and I'm not out of heart attack in front of me. Man, I lived a full life and everybody should be like, yeah, but he lived a full life. We ain't mad. Like, it's all good. That's how I'm trying to die. You know, like my grandpa, he died at like almost 90. He was almost 90 when he died. You know what I'm saying? So, lived a full life and everybody was proud of him. Like, he did so much for the whole family, for the community as a whole, and uh, his personal community, and probably even... The, the community that wasn't as personal as just us. Because, you know, he was a pastor of the church and he did a lot. And then, so when he died, I, it broke me down for sure because we, we had a relationship and I felt like I disappointed him and I was in prison when he died. And so when he died, it broke me down and tore me apart. But at the end of the day, I knew, like, man, my grandpa lived, though. Like, he lived. It wasn't like nothing randomly to you. Like, he, he had a stroke 10 years before he died and he started being a little, you know, a little, a little less mobile and a little less active, but he still was around and he was always telling me positive stuff and he always loved me and he always told me to change my ways and do better and I never did. And, uh, you know, I just want to make him proud. I know you watch, I want to make him proud. And, you know, it's crazy because his son had died before him, my favorite uncle died before him because of cigarettes. So your choice you guys, he died and, and, and you know, you're supposed to bury your father. Your father ain't supposed to bury you, but he died to lung cancer because of cigarettes. And, you know, nobody, nobody even takes that in mind. You know, I, I smoked cigarettes for a long time, I did. And I, I had to let that let that go. Last time I was smoking cigarettes in here, like, I took a big old loss. And I was like, man, the universe is telling me, this ain't for you. Now, why is you doing this? You know what I mean? And, and, and so I had to, uh, I remember I had some cigarettes right after I took the loss. I, I rolled one up. I started smoking. I smoked a little bit of it. Yeah, I threw it in the toilet. I was like, bro, nah, it's over with. Bro. I ain't smoking these no more. My brother said, but you know, man, maybe that's just me, but I believe in omens. And I believed when that happened that it was an omen. Okay, bam. Look, that's about ready. That's not going to cook no more. I mean, it is, because we ain't done. But it's, we don't need it to cook no more right this second. But look, now, now that we got that going, we're going to pull up the keys. Okay. Okay, we're filling up that middle. Okay. Bam. Mushrooms. Now that that's there, we gotta spread them apart now. Cause you feel me like, what's going in the middle of that now is gonna be them hot chips. Yeah. So, man, here we go. Here we go, y'all. Pop these open. Right there. A whole lot of them. A lot of them, man. Yeah. Okay. So then, here, here's where, here's where uh, we gotta start utilizing this good old green sauce, man. So yeah, let's uh, let's pick this up real quick, and we're gonna start, we're gonna start utilizing this good old green sauce right now. So here we go. Here we go, y'all. Bam. I can hear him out there with the trays too, so I gotta get expeditious about this. But yeah, y'all see that? See that? Look at that right there. Look at put all the sauce on there. That's how you do it. Hold on a second, y'all. Hold on a second. 
All the sauce on there, man. All right, all right, man. All right, so now, now this is where it gets tricky because you know, grill only so big. Real easy to drop stuff off of the grill when you got this much stuff on there. But really, what you gotta do is help every single piece of chip get up in some sauce. You know what I'm saying? You gotta help every single piece of chip get up in some sauce, man. And that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So look, as you do that, the sauce is gonna go all over the place, but it's gonna be ba basically in the back. You're gonna notice how there's a lot of sauce in the back. I don't know if it's just gravity, but there's a lot of sauce in the back. And I ain't gonna lie, I really wish I had another grill. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, doing, I'm doing the one grill thing. If I had two grills, it would, it would be better for all type of different cooking. That one grill make it like the process a little slower. You got two grills, you you able, you know, your, your, your thing getting hot. And I got enough room here for two grills, for sure. But so look, this is gonna take a little minute, but this is where you at. This is where, you know, this is where the money come in. Cause ain't nothing like, ain't nothing like this, this sweet salad right here. I'm telling y'all. I've been doing this for a long time, and I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Ooh, bam. I told y'all I so, I just dropped the pork rind. I told y'all it's so easy. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get the pork rind thrown in the in a second. But it's so easy to drop stuff, so you got to really be careful. You don't want to get too crazy with it. But you don't want to get too crazy with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm telling y'all. It's going, it's going crazy. It's going crazy. <laughs> look at it. It's going crazy. I'm already, hey, look, I'm already juiced. My mouth is watering right now because I can smell it. The smells that come out of this, it's nothing like it. I never smell nothing like this on the streets. But, you know, this is really, this is really something fantastic, though. I'm telling y'all. Smell like a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the smells that come out of this ain't nothing like it. It's it's different. I'm telling y'all though, but this right here, this is something you can do. Um, you know the type of jelly, you know, federal prison jelly. It ain't the same as just like if you go to the store and get some Welch's grape. It just ain't the same. So I really don't know what jelly to tell y'all to use. But look, jelly, mustard, so any any brand sweet and sour sauce, and a Kool Aid pack. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> And that's and then and, and, and it's you know I put a little bit of mayonnaise in there. Oh, and then also you know what you gotta put in there? You gotta put half of a, a beef or picante beef soup seasoning pack in there. That's how you gonna get the seasoning on it. And then drop the soy sauce on it. And you don't want to try like a lot of Kool Aids ain't gonna go good with it. So you could but see this is the thing too. Every Kool Aid ain't gonna go bad with it. So you could try Kool Aids and I mean I didn't try Kool Aids and it been just like uh. It's whatever. You don't want it to be it's whatever. You can still eat it though at that point. But you want it to be like, oh, this Kool-Aid is the one I'm rocking with from here on out. You feel me? And once you find that Kool-Aid, you're going to be able to be like, man, yeah, I got stupid hands. I know how to cook. Because <laughs> you're going to love it. And everybody who show this to, they're going to love it. They're going to be like, bro, where you learn this? And I learned this from some prison video on YouTube, man. Or me, man, I learned it in prison. I was in the feds cooking. I learned it. You know what I'm saying? It's hot. Yeah, I know you like it. I like it too. It's probably unhealthy though. Pork rinds and hot Cheetos with some summer sausage with dill pickle. Probably it don't sound too healthy. But you know what? It and with jelly and mustard, a little bit of mayonnaise, it don't sound too healthy. Kool Aid, but look, it's fired up though. As unhealthy as it might be, this is a sweet and sour. Uh, I want to say sweet and sour poke, but it just ain't just poke. Poke with the hot Cheetos with the beef, like it's just sweet and sour. Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get back to these barely getting by meals in a week or so. But until then, yeah, we 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 rocking with these. Uh, yeah, we just made it to that big old stove meals right now. That's what we are. <laughs> we just made it to that big old stove meals, man. Yeah, that's how you come in when you when you just made it to that big old stove. And you know it's crazy. You can do sweet hour not with the summer sausages, but with the tuna. And when you do it with the tuna, it's good to put some cheese on it. Melt, melt up some little cheese and throw it on there too. That's that's a difference. It's different. I don't know what it is about the tuna that makes it to where it's like, man, throw some cheese on that thing. Cause I don't really like it with cheese with the beef, but with the tuna, it's like, whoa, bro, I need the cheese. You feel know I me? Mean? This is a difference.
it's just a different but yeah uh, back to what i was saying for a little second before i go i want to tell y'all man just be positive man remain positive man it's not it's not easy it's not easy but you got to remain positive man it's too it's too easy to uh it's too easy to be negative and it's never worth it it's never you know whatever you're doing that, that that you're just allowing the negativity just to get you like it's never worth it and it's way too easy you know what I'm saying? So remain positive and stand on your word on a positive sense, man. Stand on your your terms of life in a positive manner. It's too easy to be negative, man. I know too many negative people that, you know, wish they wish they had never, you know, adopted that view or wish they was never that negative person. Alright, so man. Now this is where it gets tricky, because I gotta keep on going. And I also got a few bowls, so yeah, here we go. Who we? We gonna kick it off right here. Who we? Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see it. But look, man, you wanna help? No, nah, no, nah, he don't wanna help. He's tired. Look at me. All right, so this is how you? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just. Leave that on there for that. It's not. It's not done yet. I gotta. I gotta do the switch of rules. One at a time. We gotta make sure that we get even servings because it's a lot of food, but real easy to uh, miscalculate and not get even servings. So the goal is to make sure that we get even servings. Yeah man, yeah man. Let me unplug the hot the hot plate real quick too, cause the uh, it's already all cooked. Already all cooked, man. Yeah man, it's already all cooked. It is what it's gonna be, man. It is what it's gonna be, man. Yeah. So I tell y'all, it's fired up. I'm telling y'all right now. You ever get a chance to do this, man? Just go grab you some pork rind, go grab you the ingredients I gave y'all on the on the, on the, what the explanation I just gave y'all, man, and you know feed yourself because this is this is a real treat. You're gonna be like, man, prison cuisine. I'm telling y'all, though, man, that Ben Haas. Ooh, ooh, I gotta go grab that tray. So yeah, this is this is this is good that it's done now. So I do gotta go so try to go grab me one, brother. I ain't even trying to go out there for All right. But look. Oh, sweet sour coming, y'all. This is coming. <laughs> you feel me? That's the boy. Yeah, we I'm about to go grab this tray real quick, y'all. And uh I'll let y'all later though. Have a good evening, man. Sweet and sour, bro. Try it. You ain't gonna regret it.